Hi everyone, welcome to Little Languages. I'm Megan from Ballarat Libraries and each week we do a Little Languages session. At the moment, while we can't travel anywhere, we're actually going to travel online for Little Languages. All right, let's stand up and do our acknowledgement of country. Arms up high. Here is the sun. Here is the earth. Here are my friends. And here am I. We acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we play and learn. Well done, everyone. So let's start with our name song. Are you ready? What do you think my name is? I wonder if you know. My name is Megan. Hello, 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 hello. Now it's your turn, girls and boys, ready to shout out your names. Are you ready? What do you think my name is? I wonder if you know. Your name is... Hello, 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 hello. Excellent. Who knows Dingle Dangle Scarecrow? All the cows are sleeping. Are you ready? When all the cows are sleeping and the sun has gone to bed, up jumped the scarecrow and this is what he said. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with the flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this and shake my feet like that. Now let's do all the hens are roosting. Down you go. When all the hens are roosting and the moon's behind a cloud, up jump the scarecrow and shouted very loud. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with the flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this and shake my feet like that. Well done everyone, two says a clap. Stay standing up, let's do This is the Way We Clap Our Hands at Little Languages Story Time. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands at Little Languages Story Time. Let's shake our hands. This is the way we shake our hands, shake our hands, shake our hands. This is the way we shake our hands at Little Languages Story Time. And can we stamp our feet? This is the way we stamp our feet, stamp our feet, stamp our feet. This is the way we stamp our feet at Little Languages Story Time. Well done everyone, give yourself a clap. All right, now, Let's sing the song that we sing before we open our suitcase to find out where we are traveling to today. Standing up, are you ready to march? Quick, 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 we're going on a trip. Zip, 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 we're going very quick. Are you ready? Please get set. Climb aboard my jumbo jet. Five, Four, three, two, one, blast off! Well done everyone, give yourselves a clap. All right, it's time to see where we're traveling to today. Let's see what's in our magic suitcase. All right, let me see. Have you ever had any of these? They're called waffles. And there's a special country that these waffles come from. You might have eaten them before. And also, there are these animals in the country we're traveling to today. Who knows what this is? That's right, it's a fox, a red fox. Here's our red fox. And foxes live in the country that we're traveling to today as well. I'm going to pop our fox here so he can watch. 
Hope he doesn't eat our waffles. Let's have a look at our flag. So today we are traveling to Belgium. Can you say Belgium? Belgium. And this is their flag. It's got three colors on it. What color is this one? Black, yellow, and red. We're traveling to Belgium today. Are we ready for another song? Let's sit down and do another song. I'll need to move my suitcase out the way. Are you ready to sing? Here is the beehive. Do you know that song? Are you ready? Here is the beehive. Where are the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Watch them come creeping out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Dus, lift. Two, dus. Are you ready? Dus, Belgian waffles in a baker's shop. Crisscrossed with syrup on the top. Along comes Foxy with a penny one day. Bought a Belgian waffle and took it away. Foxy's lucky. Now we've only got one left, which is Onk. Onk. Onk, Belgian waffles in the baker's shop. Crisscrossed with syrup on the top. Along comes Wolfie with a penny one day. Bought a Belgian waffle and took it away. And that's the end of the song. We have no more Belgian waffles left. Well done, everyone. Give yourselves a clap. It's now time for our story from Belgium. And our story today is an oral story. And I'm going to have some puppets helping me tell the story today. They are. The story is called The Sugar Candy House. It's a little bit like Hansel and Gretel. And this is an old folk tale from Belgium. Once upon a time, there were two children, Jan and Jeanette. Every day they used to go and play in the woods near where they lived. And one day, they went further than they usually do. They loved going near the stream and they went along the stream and found a house. Now this house had a pink roof and the house was made of candy, lots of lollies. They thought it was wonderful. So they went and they ate some bits of the house. They started breaking them off and eating them up. Now in that house lived Garon. He was a wolf. He could hear someone eating his house. He shouted out the window, Who's that eating my house? Jan and Jeanette ran away and hid in the forest. He came out and he said, who was that eating my house? Jan said, it's the wind so mild. It's the wind so mild, that lovable child. And Garon said, hmm, he wasn't really sure and he went back into his house. The next day, Jan and Jeanette went and played again and they found the house again because they loved the candy so much. They went and they ate pieces of the candy off the house. What do you think happened? Garon, the wolf, came out and he yelled. Who is this eating my roof and my house? But Jan and Jeanette had hidden. And Jan said, It's the wind so mild, it's the wind so mild, my lovable child. And Garon grumbled and went back in the house, but he was a bit suspicious. But Jan and Jeanette came back out. They were a bit brave, and Garon ran out and found them eating his house. He had a bad leg, but he was still very, very quick. Jan and Jeanette ran as fast as they could and really, really, really fast. And Garon was chasing up to them, but they came to a river where there were some ducks. Garon kept going. Jan and Jeanette were panicking. How are we going to cross the river? The ducks in the middle, they yelled out to the ducks. The ducks came over and they said, please, please, can you help us? Can you get us across to the other side of the river? 
And the ducks said, yes, of course we can. So they jumped onto the ducks' back and they went over to the other side of the river and over onto the river bank and escaped. But Garon went to the, went to the river and said, come over here, ducks. Help me catch those children. The ducks said, right, we'll fix you, Garon. They came over and they said, certainly, jump on our backs and we'll take you across. So Garon jumped on their backs and when they were out into close to the middle, at one signal they dove under and Garon sank. He could not swim. So he struggled back to the bank that he was started at and he dragged himself up. But he was not happy. He did never, ever, ever see Jan and Jeanette again. And Jan and Jeanette never, ever, ever went to the house with the pink roof again. And that's the end of the story of the Sugar Candy House. That's the end of Little Languages for today. I hope you've enjoyed travelling to Belgium with me. And if you would like to maybe draw a picture of the characters and the sugar candy house, the wolf and Jan and Jeanette, see if you can do that. And also maybe you could make some waffles or some pancakes with your grown up. There are a couple of activities that you might like to try. Until next time, we'll see where we travel next week. Bye bye.